Okay, no. well, the beat goes on because the latest threat to Trump's <laughs> second term may be from a candidate who's a powerful businessman with real political experience and a real billionaire who can prove it in his tax returns. <laughs> Reportedly, Mike <laughs> Bloomberg is about to join the presidential race. Trump was already on the White House lawn this morning calling him Little Mike which means he's scared. That's all that means, Donald. And he's claiming that he doesn't have the Trump magic to win. What is the Trump magic? <laughs> <laughs> is it in his hair? Where is it? Where is that Well, magic? he's clearly already... I always think about optics because, sadly, they, they really do matter in politics. And you, I don't think he's going to make it through a Democratic primary, but if he did... Think about the debate stage. Oh, Bloomberg? Let's say it's Bloomberg and Donald Trump on the debate stage, right? Oh, yeah. He's oh, Bloomberg will wipe the he's floor a with him. No, but I'm just saying the optics-wise, he's a New York billionaire. He's a, very, he's a short man. He doesn't have a lot of charisma. He just doesn't. And so I, I think the combination of the two, yeah. uh, look, this might be perfect timing for, for Mike Bloomberg, or this is just a, a terrible waste of his time. He's looking at the big picture of he doesn't see anyone that's going to come out and beat Trump on the left, and he sees that impeachment might might weaken the president. So he's like, well, maybe there's an opening for me, but, but I got to tell you, my gut tells me that uh, mm -hmm. that's going to be a waste of his time. Mm. Well, look, if I was Marco Rubio, I'd be a little jealous and a little upset that he's recycling the little uh, <laughs> nickname <laughs> on somebody else. Um, you know, it feels, we keep saying that there's a lot still to happen, that anything yeah. can happen, but it does feel a little late to the game. <laughs> there's a, you know, November debate is a couple of weeks away, maybe yeah. not even that. There's a December debate, which Bloomberg wouldn't qualify for. But, you know, there is part of me that loves the idea of thinking of, you know, Trump, for whom being rich, you know, I'm rich, I'm really, really rich, is such a big deal. Oh, yeah. To be on a stage with a guy who Who's is... Who's really rich. Really, yeah. really, 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 yeah. like certifiably rich, yeah. and, didn't, and not because fifty billion dollars. Yeah, fifty five billion dollars. Yeah. Five and not because his yeah. daddy gave it to him. No, no, he has yeah. an incredible story. Mike right. Bloomberg. I mean, politics aside, he's 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 self-made. He, yeah, it's pretty. He it's also ran thing. the second ha hardest. He had the second hardest job in the country as mayor of New York. Everybody always says that this city is the hardest to run, and he did it for three... He did some um, good things here. Three terms. Yeah. I mean, you he, guys he, like he, him? The thing is, he... I liked him very much. I thought he was brilliant. I've had dinner with him. He's a lovely guy. He's really smart. He cares about the country. Um, he knows what he's talking about. I believe that the country needs a new manager. Somebody did, He left a $2 billion surplus when he, to, uh, to this one who's there now, de Blas. Mm -hmm. um, you think he could beat Trump to it? <laughs> what? You think he could beat Trump? If I think if people want a manager who Who's really smart? He's not. This guy is nothing to tool to fool and around he's, with. He's pretty modern. And the fact I that think. he's short, he probably compensates like other men. Uh, well, and he's kind of he's he's somewhat mo he's somewhat moderate. He was a Republican, then an independent, and so I think he will um, attract some moderates. I, I don't know. I, I think he certainly is good on climate change. He's good on gun control. I know. But when you think about his stop and frisk um, policies yeah. here in New York with Black and Latino Very men, um, I I was not a fan of of, of those policies. Mm -hmm. And again, if you want to win um, the Democratic primary, if you want to become the Democratic president, you've got to win the black vote. And you've got to win uh, the black female vote. And moms of black men did not like the stop and frisk policy. Well, and so you I know, I, I can't speak there. at all for yeah. that, but I mean, there was a lot of crime before he came in. Mm -hmm. A lot of crime. Mm -hmm. The fact that he was targeting blacks is wrong. It's a problem. I agree with that, if that's true. I'm thinking it's, it's definitely some true. people blame the police department for that. Some people blame him. I don't really know. Well, he has since all actually, I know is crime stopped. Well, yeah. but he has also since um, defended that mm -hmm. action. And he also sort of called into question the Me Too movement and he called into question the sexual allegations yeah. made against Charlie Rose um, at CBS. And he so, did? yeah, so, you know, sometimes mm -hmm. he's a little off when it comes to his messaging in terms of issues that I think are important. Is there to a anybody lot of who's more perfect, he's, though? Everybody's in Perfect. Well, yeah, everyone is imperfect, but it shows that there is a lane that he thinks that Biden isn't filling and Warren isn't right. filling sure. either. Yeah. Um, uh, I saw Maggie Haberman on TV this morning, Pulitzer Prize winning journalist who's covered him her entire career, and she said he has always had difficulty connecting with voters, like you said, and never say never, but I think he has a lot of hurdles and it's going to get ugly very quickly. Mm. And I agree. I think he's great for New Yorkers, mm -hmm. but I would pay good money to see Mike Bloomberg interact with someone who makes $50,000 a year in Iowa. I, or less, yeah. $20,000 a year. I mean, and again, I also know him well. He was one of my 
father's pallbearers, mm -hmm. and he's a very nice, decent man. Yeah. I disagree with him vehemently on many things, starting with guns and on down. And I will say that the idea that you can just come in because you're a billionaire and I'm going to pay for voters, it's not working for Tom Steyer. And I'm sorry, the Iowa caucus is February 3rd. The primaries, New Hampshire primaries, February 11th. The Nevada caucus is February 22nd. <laughs> this is going to get locked and loaded by April. He's, and so he spent his own millions to 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 become a leading advocate for gun control. Yeah. He's yeah. spending his own money on something he believes in. But I know, but that, but, that's you can't, but you can't buy voters. Tom Steyer is actively trying to do that right now. Yeah, well, that's I think Tom he's Steyer. Spent we don't know what this one's do. per vote so far, and I think that is un-American and disgusting. Let me you know ask you a I do not question. think that you should be buying voters in the United States of America, and the idea that you can just come in because you're a billionaire at this late state in the game, I am not for How it. How is he buying Let me votes? ask you a tough what question. Steyer, he's, he's, yeah. Oh. To get on the debate stage, he had to pay for, I believe it was $150 per Facebook ad per person, and it had to do with the polling that went to do with why he got on the original yeah, debate one of the stage. Things we I don't think that's American.